Are you planning a ski vacation or just looking for some place to ski for the day and you're not sure where to go? Well, I've skied at over 25 resorts across the northeastern United States. So I'm starting a new series on my channel where I'll be reviewing ski resorts in order to help you make the right decision. The first mountain I'll be reviewing is Jiminy Peak. Jiminy Peak is located in Hancock, Massachusetts, which is located in the western half of the state, just miles from the border with New York. First, I'll give Jiminy Peak a rating out of 10 for six different categories. Location, reliability, lodging, food and on-mountain facilities, terrain, and lift system. And then I will give it an overall score. The overall score is not an average, but rather just how I would rate the ski resort as an overall well-rounded experience. The first category I'll be ranking Jiminy Peak on is its location. Jiminy Peak is in a pretty accessible location. It's located only 30 minutes off Interstate 90, and it is also an easy drive from many big cities. It is located 40 minutes from Albany, an hour and 20 minutes from Springfield, two and a half hours from Boston, and about three hours from New York City. Since it is located right off Massachusetts State Route 43, you won't have to worry about many difficult roads in the winter. Besides Jiminy Peak, though, there is not a whole lot to do in the surrounding area, though the city of Pittsfield is not located too far away. So for location, I would give Jiminy Peak a 7 out of 10. The second category I'll be reviewing Jiminy Peak on is its reliability. Jiminy Peak is reliably open from late November to early April. This is a pretty standard season length for a ski area in the Northeast. Jiminy Peak is reliably open on most major holidays, including Thanksgiving, Christmas, MLK Day weekend, President's Day weekend, February break, spring break, etc. Jiminy Peak has a fairly good snowmaking system, which often allows them to be one of the first ski areas in Massachusetts to open. This year, in fact, they were even one of the first ski areas in New England to open. So for reliability, I would give Jiminy Peak a 7 out of 10. They may not always have all the trails open or have an extremely long season, but if you're booking a trip to Jiminy Peak, you shouldn't worry about there not being enough snow. The next category I'll be ranking Jiminy Peak on is lodging. Now, I personally have not spent the night at Jiminy Peak, though based on what I gathered, it appears that there's a wide variety of condos as well as a hotel located at the base of the mountain. But if you're looking for off-mountain lodging, it may be harder to come by. So overall, I would give Jiminy Peak a 6 out of 10 for lodging. The next category I would rank Jiminy Peak on is its food and base area facilities. Unfortunately, though, the only time I've been to Jiminy Peak is during the COVID-19 pandemic. Therefore, I did not try any of the food on the mountain, and I didn't really use the lodge much either. The only thing I can say is the facilities seem to be quite clean. The next category I'll be ranking Jiminy Peak on is the terrain. Since my only visit to Jiminy Peak was on its opening day, there wasn't a whole lot of terrain open. But from what I can tell, they have plenty of variety when it comes to terrain. And it seems that there's pretty much a trail for everyone at Jiminy Peak. One of the cool things about Jiminy Peak is that you and your friend can both take the same lift and ski trails of wildly different difficulty, yet still meet back at the same base area. They don't have any waterfall or cliff jumps, and the vertical is on the lower end. So for terrain, I'd give Jiminy Peak a 7 out of 10. They don't have anything too extreme, but they do have a wide variety of trails. The final category I'll be ranking Jiminy Peak on before giving it an overall score is its lift system. And I'd say Jiminy Peak has a fairly good lift system. It has one main chairlift, which is a high-speed six-pack, and it runs from the base of the ski area to the top of the ski area. From the top of the Berkshire Express, you can reach almost every trail on the mountain. They also have plenty of slower, fixed-grip chairs located across the mountain. With all the different lifts at Jiminy Peak, all spots of the mountain are easily accessible by lift. And the Berkshire Express is a nice, quick ride from the base to the summit. So for lift system, I would give Jiminy Peak a 7 out of 10. Now it is time for me to give Jiminy Peak an overall rating. 
Remember, this overall rating is not an average of the other ratings, but rather just what I think of the ski area overall. And overall, I'd give Jiminy Peak a 7 out of 10. It's a pretty decently sized ski area, with a wide variety of terrain, night skiing, and the base area is extremely charming. It is also easily accessible from many major cities in the Northeast, and I think it is great for families and those traveling with people who have varying skill levels. The only people I would say might want to consider a different ski resort are those looking for extreme terrain, those looking for a bigger ski area, and those looking to do stuff off the slopes. Overall, I would say Jiminy Peak is a pretty well-rounded ski resort close to many metropolitan areas. Thank you for watching my first ski resort review. If you liked it, let me know by liking the video and commenting what other ski resorts in the Northeast you want to see me review. My next ski resort review will be Wachusett, which is also located in Massachusetts. So if you want to see my Wachusett reviews or more upcoming reviews I'll be making, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see the videos I filmed at Jiminy Peak, both this winter and this fall, I'll leave them down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you stay tuned for my next ski resort review.